Mm. Hey, 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 it's Chrissy Lulu. So today, we've got a sketchbook to work with. So I just want to take a little closer view at this sketchbook. So it's got an elephant on the front. It's a very pretty sketchbook. It's got a very white, papery cover. Um, the most interesting thing about this is actually that it's made out of recycled paper. So you can see all of like the imperfections in the paper. You can see like grass and stuff in this paper. And it's really got like a beautiful texture to it. And yeah, you can like really see stuff in it. Um, so the most special thing about this sketchbook is actually that it is made from elephant poop. So <laughs> it's um, Mr. Ellie's poo, Mr. Ellie Pooh's handmade recycled paper um, from an elephant conservation through innovate. It's elephant conservation through innovation. So they're made of a mixture of elephant waste and post-consumer paper. So. Here's how they make it. Um, the business card kind of got ripped here. That does. That's supposed to say paper. But yeah. So yeah, that's like really cool. Um, it's like really interesting to have something like this. Um, and as many of you may not know, I am a huge fan of elephants. So it means a lot to have something like this. My first reaction when I took it out of the box was actually to smell it, because <laughs> my sister had who she gifted it to me for Christmas. She ended up putting it in a box that had something smelly in it. Like, it wasn't like bad smell, it was like candle smell or something. So I picked it up and sniffed it. And she was like, it's funny that you pick it up and sniff it because it's made out of poop. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm really excited to use this paper. It's just like gorgeous. Like, look at this. Look at that texture. I don't know how well it'll be with dry, but it's like really nice. We're going to try it out today. Um, it means a lot to me. So yeah, let's get right into it guys. So for this drawing, I decided to do Dumbo because what's more appropriate to do on elephant paper than Dumbo? Um, I love Dumbo a lot. so. It's been quite a while since I've actually last drawn him. The last time I drew him was in high school. So I wanted to take another jab at it. Um, I started off with it being very heavily referenced and then kind of went about trying to make it my own, really. Um, just because uh, I don't really want my art to be highly referenced. I think it's better to kind of let your work stand on its own. And I really wanted his ears <laughs> to be more elephant-like, if that makes sense. Um, I still wanted to keep the cartoony style that Dumbo has, but also kind of add some more elephantness to his ears, because they're very balloon-like. <laughs> I guess in the movie they're very flat there's not much to them but um, yeah that's pretty much what I wanted to do with him um, the one downside to this paper that I noticed was that it really does not stand up to a lot of erasing which is not unsurprising since it is recycled paper and you can feel it and it feels very soft so soft paper often well, you erase it and it will peel up. So you'll see a couple of times that while I'm erasing, specifically around the mouth, because I did a lot of work around the mouth, it started to kind of peel up around there. And it also kind of had some peeling up around the ears in some places. But honestly, I don't think it really affected the quality of the piece too much, because when I look at it, I really can't see where the damage was. Um, part of that is because I did cover up some of the damage with a paint marker because that's what I used to color. Um, 
when I wanted to add a little spark of color, I used the paint markers I have. They're um, Sakura Jelly Rolls. Um, they're the Moonlight Jelly Rolls, and they're my favorite pens. At least in the Sakura line, they're like the best. They're absolutely just amazing. The way they lined out, lay down is just so nice. I'd love a white Moonlight Jelly Roll, but I don't think that's happening anytime soon. Anyways, tangent over. Um, I didn't really want to go too hard onto the paper since this is my first time using it. I don't know how well it's going to hold up. And since I had to fix a lot of this sketch, which kind of made the paper start to peel up, um, I didn't want to go too hard on the color. Um, so I just kind of went very simple with it. I made it so there's only a couple of pops of color and it's really just his neck piece, his hat, and his eyes. So everything else is just really um, cross, or not cross hatched, just hatched to shade it and kind of differentiate it from the rest of the pieces, or yeah, you know, create some dimension to him. Um, but yeah, um, the thing I really liked about this paper is unlike the sketchbook I'm currently using to do a lot of copy drawings in. Kind of stupidly, I know. Um, mm -hmm. Is it doesn't like dent the next page, and it doesn't even really dent the back of it. So this would be like a very nice sketchbook if you want to draw on every single page. Just because I have a very heavy hand, and the fact that this paper is like thick enough that my pen marks didn't even go through the back of this page is like amazing especially since I was using my um I was using a ballpoint pen which sometimes have trouble getting started and stuff and sometimes even when you have them started they start to bloop and get clogged up and stuff if you've ever used a ballpoint pen you know what I'm talking about um I was thinking it was a big pen but it's actually a paper mate pen so Really, if you're going for ballpoint pens, you're going to have the problems of it looping up on your paper, no matter what brand you have. Um, if you want, if you know any better brands for ballpoint pens, comment below, because I really like ballpoint pens, and it was really refreshing to use these. Especially the color of this pen. It was a free pen I got, so it makes it even better that I like love the color and everything. I've been using it a lot recently. But yeah, it's a cheap pen. <laughs> I can't expect much from it, but like with that pen I have to press especially hard onto my paper and the fact that that didn't even, it didn't dent the next page or the back of my page is honestly just astounding. So like if if you're you're in the business for looking for a nice sketch paper, I'd say this is some, this is a really good book that you can sketch and you can go as hard as you want on it because this paper seems pretty durable. Um, durable in the sense that it can take mark and kind of take a beating um just not so much in the friction department um uh, it could be good for bullet journaling i haven't really thought about that too much um i've started bullet journaling again we'll see if i can keep up with that um i kind of dropped it in october and trying to pick it up again now so it should be fun but yeah like I really like the sketchbook it's really pretty it's got like a crap ton of pages and the fact that I can go on both sides of the pages is like amazing I'm gonna have to try my alcohol markers in it at some point um, I really want to see how well it holds up to those um, I have a feeling it's going to bleed through just because it bleeds through on everything but I really want to see how it reacts with the paper. Um, I just didn't want to do it on my first drawing. I wanted to make sure, hey, is this paper already to even draw on in the first place? Because I know for a fact this is not what this book is meant for. It's not for heavy drawing and everything, but <clears throat> that's what I'm going to try and use it for, perhaps rather stupidly. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed my drawing of Dumbo. Um, I feel it's rather relevant, ironically, 
for the time, I just wanted to draw Dumbo, but we do have the live action movie of Dumbo coming out soon, so why not visit for classics? It's one of my favorite Dumbo movies. Or Dumbo movies, Disney movies, um, mainly just because I love elephants, so I cried to this movie when I was little. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you check out my links in the description. I've got my Instagram, my Tumblr, and my DeviantArt all listed below if you want to check me out on other sites. Um, if you follow my DeviantArt, I post a bit of everything there. It's just typically a little bit later than my Instagram and my Tumblr get updated. Um, my Instagram's really just highlights, and it's like quick in the moment highlights if you want highlights that are a bit better quality check out my tumblr but yeah um i'm having fun posting to my sites and everything so yeah this is my first drawing for the year um and i hope this year goes well for all you too all you guys too so yeah see you later